Hey, what's up guys? Check this out. This is a resurrection plant. Have you guys seen these? Oh, they're so cool. So a resurrection plant is a group of plants that are able to curl up into a ball like this and survive extreme drought and almost zero water conditions for long periods of time, even years. So this resurrection plant is curled together and it's got a small amount of moisture in the very center barely even detectable probably it feels like it's dry and dead and that's how it got its name resurrection plant because in the rare instances that it does rain in these deserts um, of North Africa it can quickly open up and come to life and do what it can and grow quickly try to reproduce before the water's all gone and disappears and it has to curl back up in a ball to survive again so I got this one from my daughter for Christmas and I'm just now getting to play with it. So this is gonna be great. And I also got a time-lapse camera for Christmas. So this is gonna be awesome. We can time-lapse it opening up when we add moisture. So this could be really cool. Let's go over a couple more facts about these uh, plants. They're very primitive. Actually, there's fossil examples of them from 400 million years ago. So this is kind of a primitive evolutionary uh, missing link kind of between mosses and ferns. So this plant is an excellent survivor. Um, it's also known as the dinosaur plant because it was literally growing under the feet of dinosaurs. Um, yeah, the other names, like I said, are Resurrection Plant and Rose of Jericho. Uh, let's see, it's in the Spike Moss family, if that matters. Uh, do I have any other good info here? Oh yeah, it does not have leaves. It actually just has um, small scaly extensions of its stem, uh, like a juniper type deal. So it's, it's a goofy plant. It doesn't have seeds or fruit. Um, it, it reproduces with spores. It's, it's very goofy. So um, let's not waste any more time. Let's see what happens when we set up my time-lapse camera on this and add some water. Wow, that was awesome. You could see it unrolling its stemmy branches or whatever they are. Let's let's go in and have a look at it. Here's the little chamber that I made uh, to do the time lapse because you don't want conditions to change or lighting. That's a little peek hole that I made so I could peek in there. Uh, so yeah, it's very controlled environment under there. And there's the camera. Wow, look, yeah, it looks great. Okay, let's have a closer look at this. Whoa, it's actually kind of heavy now. It was just feather light. Oh, it's so neat. Wow, I really like this. I, I'm going to have to put this in my grow closet and let it grow for a little while, like opened. I wonder how long they like to stay open for. Huh. Okay, let's close it back up and turn the camera back on. And let's see what happens when we just take the water away. I won't add any more water. Wow, that was fantastic. Did you see it scrunch back together like that? It's so cool. Uh, that was a one day time lapse. Um, the other one, the first one was like a day and a half, but you saw most of that initial unfolding happened in like two or three hours. 
Wow, yep, now it's back to where it started, all lightweight and dehydrated. Ah, oh, this was so fun. Oh my gosh, yeah. I want to put this in my grow closet and let it stay unfolded for a little while and see what it does. Maybe I can, I don't know. I'll have to mess with it. Um, now that we have the time-lapse camera, we can do all kinds of cool time-lapses of different plants and other cool things. I already have a fantastic idea for the next video. We're going to grow crystals on some teddy bears. I think I know how to do it, and it's going to be epic. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe and hit that like button so this video gets shared around. I think it was pretty cool, and I can't wait to get the next time-lapse going which is I'm going to start it today. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.